A wedding becomes more enchanting and magical seeing handsome men's attire with a boutonniere. But do you even know how to properly pin one or find someone who knows how? Tune in now to Maria Romano's boutonniere pinning tutorial episode. Hi everybody, Maria Romano here from True Love Knots. Wedding Wednesday again, that's right. Well, have I got a treat for you. The other day I was thinking, you know what? What would be a great topic? How to pin on a boutonniere. Now I know you might be thinking, Maria, really? Yes, really, I have been involved in so many wedding ceremonies. And let me tell you something, the boutonniere is very, very important, whether it's a boutonniere on a groom or a bride, it doesn't matter, or the father of a bride or anybody in the bridal party. So first of all, there are different types of pins that people use. So for example, on a boutonniere that I have seen magnets, I have also seen pins with the actual clasp like you use on a brooch. And let me start with those two. Magnets are okay if it's a very light or one flower. Okay. And that's the key thing. A boutonniere is not a bouquet. And I can't begin to tell you how many times uh, there's a, par a couple and they decide to have boutonnieres with multiple flowers. It really doesn't work and it's really a lot. It's almost like having too many accessories. So a boutonniere should be simple. And why? Because it needs to look good. So a magnet would work, especially if it winds up being a maybe a silk flower, something that you're going to save. But thinking about a rose sometimes can be a little heavy with that said. So a magnets might not work. Also, there are the pins with the clasp. You've seen those like they use on brooches. Those are quite cumbersome to wind up putting into the fabric. It's really hard to try to maneuver those pins into the fabric. The simplest way is what I have for you today, all right, is the regular boutonniere compliments of Chapel of Flowers, one of the chapels that I work out of. Now, again, like I said before, on a boutonniere, you want to make sure really one flower is best. And the reason you want to learn how to pin this on properly is have you ever looked at wedding pictures going back or even prom pictures, whatever it is where you had the occasion to wear a boutonniere and you see this fabulous picture and then all of a sudden the boutonniere looks like this, the boutonniere looks like this and it happens. I've had this happen during wedding ceremonies. It ain't pretty. So I'm going to show you here as best as I can so you take the flower and you take the pin and you place the pin in back of the flower and just put it down into the boutonniere. And look, that's so simple. I'm going to do this again for you. Now, sometimes you also can take, if you don't, if you have a little bit of fabric, I'm going to show this on you. Yes, I'm showing you my workout clothes. So if, let's say, for example, someone's wearing suspenders you do the same thing with suspenders. Or if it's a light shirt, just like I'm using, again, get behind the fabric, pin it into the flower. That's right, the bulb part. Let me just pull this down. The actual bulb part of the flower, just like this. So that's one way and it stays properly. Now I have also seen where people take the pin and they turn it upside down and they have it stick up just like this. See if you can see this properly. And then they just place the flower and they run the bulb, the widest part, into that. And that can work, but look, you see what happens? So you actually need to have two pins in order for that to be effective. So let me grab another pin. And again, I still think using the fabric is the best way because see what happens? I know a lot of people take the pin, but what I prefer doing is again, taking the head of the pin, placing it down into the bulb, and it'll stay all the time. And then that way, when you have a wedding ceremony, this is not flopping and you're looking at back at pictures and you're not fixated on the imperfections. So everybody have a great week. Wedding Wednesday again, some great tips that I'm bringing to you and remember, if you're looking to learn how to officiate a wedding ceremony, contact me. I'm going to be teaching live in August 
three Tuesdays in August. That's it for the rest of the year. So if you want to learn how to really rock it as an efficient, get in touch with me. In the meantime, enjoy. Enjoy your wedding ceremonies, your proms that are coming up, and always remember to spread love.